What types of technologies are underlying there to make sure that when Ellie is turned on or any digital human for that matter, it actually represents what we perceive as a human? Um, in terms of the AI aspects specifically of it, there are several models kind of working in tandem uh, and it's put into what's basically called an AI pipeline. And the processing guys kind of goes from, you know, end to end through the pipeline. And it literally starts with models that do things like speech recognition and can convert what a person's saying into text. There are models that do language translation. If you determine the person speaking Spanish, but what you're actually talking to knows English, you have to do some language translation. Um, there is what most people are used to with chatbots today, a large language model uh, and retrieval augmented generation attached to a large language model which kind of gives the large language models specific pertinent information to the conversation you want it to be able to have. And when those responses are generated, you kind of have to reverse the process and take the text, turn it back into speech, turn it back into the original language that you heard to begin with, and then finally pass it to yet another model, which can deal with actually like rendering in real time the face and doing the lip syncing and moving the teeth and the tongue and the eyes and the blinking and stuff like that. So just at a very high level kind of end to end, there's a lot of different AI models involved in generating 